Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having it. In order to make a life that's really full of joyful living, you have to pick the right life partner. In my experience and in my family of origin, I have seen the selection of the wrong life partners. And the wrong life partners usually do something midstream to screw up the marriage, to impact the family, to destroy finances, or literally practically lose a house. And when they do that, it proves that they weren't the right person in the beginning. The hard part is that love has transpired. The hard part is that the seeds of love are sown deep. And the difficulty is letting go of those loves to find something better that God would have for you. When I lost my life partner of many, many years, I had a prayer in place that said, If this is God's will, then Lord, bring this type of person to me. And God did, practically a week later. In both situations, when I lost the one that I really loved, the next prayer I said the same thing. I asked for four different categories that the person had, and openly God placed that person in my life. Now that relationship did not last as long as it should have, because too many people, including children, monkeyed the relationship. God was trying to say you can have a door right here at a healthy point of your whole family to step through and step out of this. But you didn't listen, and that was your fault. God always places someone into your stead that can take you out of your dread. I know that for a fact. But usually that player, that person, that partner of possibilities is rarely what you think they should look like. That is one of God's lessons. Do not judge my child based on what he looks like now. You never know how a person matures and what they're going to do when they get older. This is true. It's a mixed bag. And what you know is that our genetic health, our aging cells, do shift, do change, and you never know what kind of illness can come with the person you choose. You also don't know what kind of illness they're bringing to you in that marriage bed. And you know what I'm talking about that especially well. People who are not out there putting it on for everybody are a little bit safer. It doesn't mean that a person who's just having a relationship can't get you ill. It just means you have to be more careful. When I'm talking about these things, I'm talking about it in a way that young people can learn things and older people who made mistakes can make up for their mistakes. Because at the end of our life, where do we go? We go back to God's house. We hope. We might be saved by Jesus Christ, but that doesn't mean that we won't have lessons to learn when we walk through those early games. What I want people to be very aware of is how people like to play, how predators like to do things every day. And I've already seen a handful of people playing near my life who sort of look like me. They put on glasses like me, they wear their hairstyle like me, they put their beard on like me, they put on slightly better clothes than me, and if you think that's me, you could end up in misery in front of God. What you want to do with people that you're rekindling relationships with is ask them questions. Ask them what they remember about the relationship. Ask them secrets, things that only you and that person would know. That is the only way you can prove that you're not being faced with a predator or a copycat who knows that there's supposed to be a rekindling of a relationship but wants to get involved to take advantage of you and practically rape you into a relationship. And that's not okay. The women that are too promiscuous, that say something improper to get a married man or somebody hot to get into them, they are always at risk because they don't think about how many persons that, that person has already played with and they don't think about how many people that person's always laid, already laid with. But what they see is something hot that they want right now to make them feel good. But oftentimes that can get them illness. 